Ay, Carlita. Hola, Carla, ¿me escucha? Ay, Carlita, ¿me escucha bien, Carlita? Sí, teacher, me escucha. Gracias, Carlita, solo eso quería saber. Gracias. Ah, bueno. <risa> Ay, Vane. Ay, Vane. Ay, Jorgito. Hey, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Jorge. How are you? I'm fine, you? I'm okay, Jorge, I'm okay. I'm very happy it's Friday. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Vane, how are you today, Vane? Fine, teacher. I have a lot of work and me duele la mano. Por el mouse, it's a new <laughs> Do you work tomorrow, Vanesita, or no? No, teacher, I'm free. <laughs> okay, that's good. That's good. You're going to relax your yeah. hand for a little bit. Very nice. Okay, so very nice. Hi, Avne. All right, I see Avne and Anita. Hi, Anita. Hi, Miss. Ya lo conozco. No me escucha, Abner. Hi, Abner. Hi, no, I'm not in my house, but I'm trying to be a listener. Okay, very good. Pero al menos lo vemos ahora. Mire qué chivo. Hi. Nice to meet you. <laughs> okay, I'm going to be a listener. Uh, a few minutes and then I'm going to try to connect with my computer, okay? Perfect. Thank you, Anna. That's fine. Thank you. Okay. All right. Anita, ¿qué le pasó ayer? ¿Lo extrañamos ayer, Anita? <laughs> Miss, I have travels to coming home and I don't have a charge in my, in my cell phone. I don't know how to do that, but I'm coming really, really late because the work, for the work. So I really tried to connect it, but it was a little bit <laughs> but I'm here. <laughs> Excellent. Yes, Anita, don't worry about it. You're here with us today. Okay. So that's okay. Thank you. All right. Then I have Mariano also. And yeah, Carlito was already Hi, with you. Hi, Mariano. All right. Mariano, cuando pueda, encienda su cámara para que apoye ahí a, a Vane, que la tiene encendida. Walter, hello, Walter. <laughs> All right, guys, very good. So yesterday we stopped on. Hello. Hi, Walter, how are you? We stopped yesterday on page, ahorita les digo. Give me a second here. Page 18, exercise four and five, okay? The idea, y no sé si lo lograron hacer, la idea era que leyeran la información que les dan en el manual, all right? And then let's try to do the exercises. A ver, uh, si ¿sí pudieron leer la información ayer en lo que faltaba de clase. Yes. Did you do the exercise or not? No llegaron a esa parte. Ok, no. All right. Yeah, it was a little bit tough. All right. Ok. Entonces, mientras los demás compañeros eh, ingresan, all right, vamos a leerlo juntos. Ok. Es 
prácticamente un complement de lo que yo ya les había dado, ¿verdad? Entonces todo eso ya lo unimos, ya tenemos como más, más información. That's the whole idea behind it. A ver, I'm just going to share this with you guys right now. No, eso no es. <laughs> eso no es. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Ah, es this. Eso sí es. All right, so here. Uh, page 18, guys, exercise four. How to achieve verb agreement with complex subjects. A esta altura ya sabemos que son los complex subjects that they are different from the normal subjects that we use, all right? So when we talk about complex subject, puede ser none of, one of, a number, the number, uh, all of, um, half of, a third of, some. Todos esos pueden ser complex subjects y se, de, se derivan de quantifiers o algo, expressions of quantity, okay? A ver, um, this is subjects that are preceded by the expression, preceded, perdón, by the expressions of quantity are called complex subjects. They take either a singular or a plural verb from form depending on the number, singular or plural, of the quantifier. All right, acuérdense que podemos decir quantifiers or expressions of quantity, y son todos esos que hemos visto, all right? Ahora, estos new subjects, que les llamamos complex subjects, van antes del sujeto normal o del sujeto tradicional. Por lo tanto, ese sujeto tradicional o sujeto normal ya no es el sujeto de esta oración. El sujeto nuevo es ese que hemos estado viendo, el complejo. Okay, que lleva de alguna forma alguna expresión de cantidad. Ok. All right. Example. Walter, ayúdenme. Can you please read example A, please? Yes. Letter uh, A. The first of, of the decision has been made to go ahead with the plan. Here. The first refer to one of the decision. So the verse must be in the singular form. Has. Excellent. Thank you. Los vamos a leer todos y luego los vamos a razonar y a socializar. Letter B. Anita, can you please read letter B for me? Yes. Um, one of the good things I like about working with you all is the effort you make to do the job right. Continue with the explanation. Okay. Here, one is a single of various good things. So the verb must also be singular, is. Excellent, thank you, Ana, very nice. Let's continue with the other example, letter A. Mariano, can you please read example A, please? Mariano, no? Uh, example, teacher? Donde dice some difficult. Some difficult decisions to make in relation to fancy materials are about the cost and quality. Okay, the explanation. Uh, Harrison re refers to more than one difficult decisions. Okay. Uh, plural. So the verb must be plural, are. Ah, thank you, all right. All right, next one. Uh, Kevin, do you want to read letter A, letter B, sorry? Oh, do they say the a majority? Kevin, no está por ahí? Debbie, está por ahí? Hola, hola. All right. Alguien que ya esté por ahí. <laughs> Can read this for me, please? Me again? <laughs> Oh, Vanessa can do it. Thank you, Mariana. Okay. A majority and number take a plural verb when they are used with a plural noun. B. A majority of product developers prefer to use blind tests. All right. Thank you. Okay. Now, as I said, guys, this is a complement of the information I have given you. As you know, these manuals, they don't really 
explain very extensively. They give us a hint, they give us ideas, but it's good that we search or have more information. And I usually try to do exactly just that, all right? I try to give you more information and then as a compliment, we take a look at the one that is given to us on the manuals, all right? So this is pretty much the same information that we have already. And some things may, it's not that they are different, but they are less detailed, all right? Sabemos, por ejemplo, vámonos al primer ejercicio, the first of the decisions. Ese no lo habíamos visto. Eh, esa expresión de cantidad no la habíamos visto conmigo, all right? con lo que yo les había compartido. Pero ustedes entienden lo que es the first, o sea, one, all right? Y si es one de algo, all right, it's singular. Acuérdense que hemos dicho one of the, ¿va a ser singular o va a ser plural? Siempre, cuando hablamos de one of the, do we use singular or do we use plural verbs? Singular. Singular, always. Yes, Anita, thank you, all right? ¿Y qué les pasa a todos con la cámara apagada? My goodness, solo tengo a Debbie Avane. Hmm, all right. Thank you. Hi, Debbie. All right, that's okay. Sigamos entonces. Sigamos con el ejemplo B de su libro. One of the good things I like about working with you, it, uh, with you all, is the effort you make to do the job right. Aquí estamos usando otra vez one of the. Y ya dijimos que con ese siempre, 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 el verbo va a ser singular. Siempre. Cada vez que usted vea one of the, the verb is singular. Ahí no hay otra forma, ¿ok? Tenemos some en el, ej el ejercicio, el ejemplo A de la otra parte. Some difficult decisions to make in relation to fancy material are about the cost and quality. Some es una expresión, obviamente, de cantidad. Y va a depender de lo que sigue. Some difficult decisions. En ese caso, all right, si nos vamos a referir a R, all right? So, in that case, it, because the decisions that comes after the sum is plural. That's why we need a plural verb. A majority and a number. A number, ya dijimos que qué. Cuando tenemos a number, usamos singular o usamos plural. ¿Quién se acuerda? Plural. Yes, uh, a plural, right? A number. ¿Qué quiere decir? ¿Qué quería decir a number? Muchos. Yes, a lot, many. Thank you, yeah. All right? So a number siempre, siempre va a ser plural. All right, so those are the things that we are looking at here. En este caso, a majority of product developers, estamos hablando también, the developer, so it's plural, so we have a plural subject and a plural verb, okay? Voy a dejar de compartir un segundo. I'm going to take attendance y luego seguimos con el ejercicio que ayer no nos quedó tiempo de realizar. Just give me a second. A ver, Abner y Fuentes Flores. It's there. Adela Trinidad González con suegra. I'm here. Okay. All right, uh, Claudia Guadalupe Arias de Gómez. Claudita, no está? Okay, just give me a second. All right, uh, Daniel Antonio Luna. Oh, okay. A ver, Domingo Alexander. Present Yes, thank you. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. Muy bien. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Ever is not here, right? No. José Roberto Martínez Bernabé. Carla Benacir Lara González. 
Okay. Carla Michelle Brizuela Portillo. Present teacher. Thank you. All right, then we have here Carla Vanessa Vasquez de Ayala. Okay. Leticia Guadalupe Garcia de Miranda. Mariano Jose Paca Santa Maria. Present teacher. Okay. Oscar Arnulfo Villatoro Herrera. Okay. Rafael Ernesto Hernández Sandoval. Teacher, you didn't say my name. Who? Kevin. Okay. Kevin Esteban Mejibar Merino. Lo siento, Kevin. Pero okay. <laughs> Thank you. I saw you already. Hold on, Kevin. Okay. Thank you, Kevin. All right. Uh, Rafael Ernesto Hernández Sandoval. Present teacher. Vanessa Noemi Reyes Lemos. Present. Okay. Salvador, dije Salvador Augusto Sorto Rivas. No, verdad? No había dicho. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Walter Omar Casaneda Perlera. Present. Thank you. Ana Maria Palacios Araujo. Present. Thank you. Vicky Dinora Gutierrez de Durán. Bismar Ulises Martinez Ortiz. Present. And Debbie Jasmine Giron Ramirez. Present. Thank you. Okay. All right, guys. So, um, Hmm, yo creo que Domingo sí puede participar, Anita sí puede participar, Mariano entiendo que sí. No sé si Trini, Abner, Jorge Alfredo, Carla Benazir, Oscar, can participate. Please let me know para poderlos mandar a grupos y que empiecen a hablar. Teacher, yo ahorita no puedo. Ok, Jorge, no se preocupe. Anybody else? Teacher, ahorita unos 20 minutos. No puedo tampoco. Oh my goodness. Ok. All right. Vamos a... Es viernes 13 ahora. <risa> ok. Voy a abrir grupos. Eh, si están con comp los compañeros que no pueden participar, eh, quédense aquí, porfa. No se me vayan porque entonces creo que sí pueden y de repente dejaron solo, solo a sus compañeros. So please don't go. Como en la canción. Please don't go. Sí, puedo. Uh... No, solo imagen no voy a poder compartir. Permítanme. Ok. Estamos trabajando en la misma página del ejercicio que ayer empezamos, ejercicio 5, página 18. Kevin no puede participar ahorita. Kevin.
Hi, guys. Hola, teacher. Hello. Eh, no nos quedó bien claro qué vamos a hacer, perdón. Ah, no, no se preocupe. En la página 18, ejercicio 5. 18, ejercicio 5, ajá. Tienen que leer las oraciones y escoger el verbo que, va, que, van a, que vamos a usar dependiendo del sujeto que está ahí. Por ejemplo, en la primera, some of the participants in the testing group, vamos a decir have or has. Ah, ok. Y así a las seis, hasta las seis, ¿verdad? Ok, ok. Excellent. Ok, thank you, teacher. Welcome. Claudita, ¿puede participar ahorita en grupo o no?
Hi, Carlita. Hi, teacher. Hi, Carlita. No sé mucho se acaban de ir sus compañeros. Están trabajando on page 18, exercise 5. ¿Nos quedamos anoche? Yes. La voy, uh, la voy a poner okay. a un grupo. Leti, no sé si puede participar. Ahí sí la mando con Carla. Right, maybe not. La voy a mandar a la sala 2, Vane, oye. Ok. Teacher, ya no saco de los grupos. Es que se me cerró. Ahorita, ¿con qué, ¿en qué grupito estaba? En el luna. Le dice Ray. Ahorita, vale. Vaya. Dani. Hola, Daniel. Hola, teacher. ¿Cómo está? Aquí nomás llegando. Preparándome ahorita. Voy a participar ahorita en el grupo, Dani. Vaya, vaya, está bien. Vaya. Claudia, Leti, y Vicky, no sé si ustedes pueden participar en los grupos. Sí, teacher, no sé en qué están trabajando o algo. Podemos entrar por lo menos yo a ver o a escuchar o no sé. Vaya, están en la página 18, ejercicio 5, Vicky. Ok, teacher. Ahorita la mando a la sala 4.
kind of mingle? Hi, teacher. All right. Hi, Daniel. Ya lo veo, Dan. <laughs> You're working today. No question. Yes, I'm working. Almost. Ahí recibiendo un airplane. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's nice. Where is it coming from? Uh, uh, Costa Rica. Oh, okay. All right. Cool. Mm -hmm. Yes. Nice. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Did you finish? I knew two groups were done. What about the other groups? Yes, so so? Yes. Okay. All right, guys, we have here, I'm gonna share my screen with you here. And I want you to tell me not only the answer, but I want you to tell me why. Okay, so that's the whole idea behind this. So number one says some of the participants in the testing group have or has not arrived yet. A ver, voluntarios, ¿quién quiere hacer la primera? Y me explica el por qué, no solo me dice tal cual, teacher, all right? I want to know why. Voluntarios, voluntarias. Sí, teacher. Ok, Mariano, pero encienda la camarita, Mariano. Sí. Para no perder la costumbre, dijo yo voy primero. Sí, hay que hacer una reflexión, ¿no? Me, me, me auto ¿eh? Me auto me auto ¿no? uh, Some of the participants in the testing groups have or has not arrived yet. I think so is have because... Uh, say the participants, uh, uh, some of the participants, um, I understand is a uh, plural. Okay, all right. En ese caso, ¿qué aplica? O sea, si, es, si tiene razón, ustedes have, y tiene razón en lo que me está diciendo. Pero, why did you choose have? ¿Cuál sería ahí lo que nos da la pauta? to use have. El son of. Ajá. Son of, claro, esa es una expression of quantity, pero. Yeah. Este, si, participants. Si una, ah, participants. O sea, que va después del of, ¿cierto? Yes. yes. Ok, nos tenemos que fijar lo que va después del of. Very good. En este caso, participants, many. Entonces, es plural. Very good. Have. Excellent, Mariano. Very nice. Mariano, hoy no voy a usar mi ruleta. Usted escoja a alguien. My wheel. Tomorrow, I, use, I mean, Monday, I use my wheel. Solo hay una persona, Mariano. <laughs> a number or the name? Eh, the name, pero Abner no puede participar ahorita todavía. Ok. Entonces, eh, a ver, a ella le gusta participar también. <risa> Solo porque le puse el dedo. <risa> ok. Ah, One, of the todo. <risa> One of the factors to decide on the best type mm -hmm. of the test is R the characteristic of the product itself. Yes. I think is, uh, is, is, is. You think it's is? <laughs> <laughs> Why, Debbie? Because it's singular. One of the. the yes, one of the, uh -huh, is it's singular, called. ¿verdad? Entonces, en ese caso, Debbie, cuando hablamos de one of the, Siempre va a, sing, va a ser singular or sometimes can be plural, Debbie? Uh, depend, I think. Segura, uh, Debbie, como que yeah. No, es singular. Sí, es singular. one of the the, 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 factor, of the... the factor is plural. Sí, pero se acuerda. Pero está hablando de one. Sí, de uh -huh. one of one. Y se acuerdan que dijimos, si tenemos one of the, siempre va a ser que? Singular. singular. Siempre, siempre, siempre va a ser singular. Okay, very nice. Thank you, Debbie. 
A ver, Mariano, sigue escogiendo a alguien más. Quiero ver. Uh, Daniel está participando. ¿Quién? Daniel. ¿Qué es Daniel? Yo. Sí, tú. <laughs> yo no fui. Hello. Okay. Uh, number three. A number of customer is are satisfied with the performance of the new mop. The answer is R because it's a, a number a number of customers. Mm -hmm. Anna, mm -hmm. uh, yes, very it's good. Plural. Yes. A number siempre va a ser que Daniel o puede cambiar. Uh, a number is always the plural. Yes. It's not is not being changed. Yes, a number of siempre va a ser plural. Porque quiere decir el qué? Um, more than one. Yeah, it's many, a lot. That's it's one. Many. Uh -huh. Yes, very good, uh -huh. Daniel. Thank you. Mariano, continue con alguien más, sí. please. Uh, number four, right? Yes, sure. Uh -huh. uh, Abner? Abner is not, right now he cannot participate. Ah, mm -hmm. Okay. We have Carla Vanessa, Domingo, Bismar, Walter. A Domingo, a Domingo. Domingo, excellent. Mm -hmm. uh, number four. Uh, number four. four. The first of the suggestion I want, I want to implement uh, is the 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 design of the label label, so, label. Uh -huh. is um the first is is singular uh -huh. Uh -huh. and it is the el verbo is the verb is it yes very good domingo uh -huh. yes uh -huh. Uh -huh. Stop. Aunque, aunque de, de su gestión está en plural. Claro, pero acuérdese que the first, the first, uh, the first of quiere decir the one, one of mm -hmm. the. Entonces es, es como un sinónimo, voy a decir one of the, the first of. Entonces siempre va a ser singular. <clears throat> ok. Ok. Excellent. Let's see. Um, Mariano, number five, what are you going to choose? La Vanessa. Vanessa, Carla Vanessa o Vanesita Noemi. Eh, Carla Vanessa. Carla Vanessa. All right, Carla. Okay, I'm the lucky one. <laughs> Number five. Yes. A majority of testers have or has pointed out to need to make our probe lighter. Mm -hmm. And it has. Yes. Why, Carla? Because it's plural. Testers. Yes. Eso por un lado, Vane. Y por otro lado, Carla Vanessa, es porque dice the ma a majority. All right. Ese es más que uno. Yes. All right. So, yes. two reasons. Excellent, Vane. Yes. Okay. Mariano, the last one. Bismar. Uh, Bismar, excellent Bismar. A ver, ¿qué nos cuenta Bismar? For number six. Number six, a number of common suggest uh, suggest that the that the fragrance of the candle is the best characteristic. Eh, um, eh, characteristic, ajá. Uh -huh. Characteristic and is suggest suggest suggest. Suggest uh -huh. and plural yes. because a number is um, is it, it can be many. Yes, a number is a lot. All right. So at every time, thank you, Ms. Mar. Excellent. Every time you guys see a number of, it's always plural. All right, because a number of means a lot. All right, or many. Very good, guys. Excellent. A ver, quién sacó diez de diez, o sea, seis de seis. Excellent, Carla Vanessa. Very good, Debbie. Nice, Vane. Vanesita, Daniel. Very nice. Walter and Bismar, what happened? Anita, excellent. 
Very good. Nice. Yes, Mariano. Very good. <laughs> very nice. Very good. And Rafael, what happened? Cuántas buenas sacó? Everything. Excellent. Very good, <laughs> Rafael. Very nice. Domingo. Uh, the six. Excellent, Domingo. Very nice. Very good, guys. I'm happy. Now, do you feel that you have understood this topic? Hemos comprendido este tema? Yes? No? Maybe a little bit? Yeah? All right. Ahora, acá. Teacher. Yes. Excuse me. Uh, uh, what is the difference entre one, entre a number of and the number of? Um, ¿Cómo puedo usar eso? A number of quiere decir muchos. Muchos de los uh -huh. problemas o muchos de las sugerencias o muchas de las personas. A number of. Siempre va a ser plural. Uh -huh. Porque the number es más específico. The number one. Ah, es como un one. Uh -huh. Ok. One. Yes. <laughs> yeah, very good, amigo. Nice. Very good, guys. Thank you. All right. I'm going to take the second attendance. Miren que... Hoy temprano que tomé la primera asistencia me afligí, yo dije viernes, nobody's here, o sea, sí, verdad, but not everybody was here, pero ya, ya vinieron los demás, very nice, thank you guys for being here, yo sé que cuestan los viernes, all right, eh, Abner Eli Fuentes Flores, I'm here, thank you, Adela Trinidad González con suegra, eh, Claudia Guadalupe Arias de Gómez, Present. thank you, Daniel Antonio Luna. Present teacher. Thank you, Daniel. Um, Domingo Alexander González. Present teacher. Very nice. Ever de Jesús Candrae Montano. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. José Roberto Martínez Bernabé. Carla Benacir Lara González. Carlita está, ¿verdad? Guys. Carla Michelle Brizuela Portillo. Present teacher. Carla Vanessa Vázquez de Ayala. Present. Excellent, thank you. Uh, Kevin Esteban Mejibar Merino. All right, Leticia Guadalupe García de Miranda. Mariano José Paca Santa María. Present teacher. Oscar Arnulfo Villatoro Herrera. Present. Um, Rafael Ernesto Hernández Sandoval. Present teacher. Vane Salvador Augusto Sorto Rivas. Ok. Vanessa Noemi Reyes Lemus. Present. Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. Present. Thank you. Ana María Palacios Araujo. Present teacher. Thank you. Miki Dinora Gutierrez de Durán. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Bismar Ulises Martinez Ortiz. All right. Debbie Jasmine Giron Ramirez. Present teacher. Excellent, guys. Thank you. All right. So now we can continue with the rest of the book here. So right now, guys, we're going to... Um, we're going to finish this because we already did and let's work on this product testing unit two building vocabulary the terms in the chart below describe uh describe types of tests and research methods connected to product testing match the terms of their to their definitions check answers with a partner okay De repente, we may not know all of these um, vocabulary. Here we have site and handling test, use test, branded test, blind test, monadic, monadic method, es el que nos dio Daniela vez pasada, sequential monadic method, and paired comparisons test. All right, now. Nos vamos a ir a los grupos y juntos, juntas, we're going to try to match the term with the definition. No se preocupe si usted no sabe exactamente todas las palabras, that's fine. Cuando regresemos lo vamos a trabajar in groups, all right? So, let's work on exercise six, page 19, okay? 
Hoy creo que ya hay más que pueden participar. Súper bien. Um, voy a dejar los... No sé si puedo dejar los mismos grupos. No sé si van a haber muchos. You know what? I'm going to recreate right now. Wait. I know, Casey. Oh, I have nine. Vamos a ver así como estamos. Igual, los que no pueden participar se quedan acá para no confundirme y no dejar a nadie solo o sola. Let's go, guys. Peace. Leti, are you going to participate right now? De oyente, teacher. Ok, Leti, si usted se queda aquí entonces, o quiere ir a los grupos. Mm, me voy a quedar acá. Vaya, está bien, Leti. Gracias. Hi, Oscar. Hello, hello. Llegando a casa. Hi, Oscar. Lo voy a mover a un grupo. Está en la página 19, ejercicio 6. Sí, sí, eso estaba escuchando. Estaba tratando yo de okay. resolverlo. Ok, ahorita lo muevo. Gracias. Bismar. Hello, se, se me reinició mi laptop. Pero, Bye. ajá, puedo asignarme. Vaya, ahorita lo mando a la sala 1. Ok, sí. gracias.
All right, guys, let's work on this together now. Let's see. Um, this is where we are, right? Let's see here. Um, Rafael, can you read the um, site and handling test? What is the definition for you and your group? Is it definition is this test is a good option when there are significant texture or visual elements of the product for the consumer to experience. For consumers, ah, this brand this brand is a good option when there are significant tactics tactile or visual elements all right okay uh, what about the rest of you guys do you agree with that answer it's yes, correct teacher. i agree yeah. all right yeah very good so that would be sight acuérdese que sight is a vision and handling is when you touch it you can like manipulate whatever you're using all right what about use test And Daniel, what do you have for number two? Okay, the number two is consumers take the product to be used either as a sample or for an extended period, as they will usually use it in their own home. All right, very good. Everybody has the same answer? Yes, no? Yes. Yes, yes I will read. All right, very good. I agree. Excellent, thank you. Let's see. Um, Vane, Noemi, Vanesita, branded test. What is it for you? Branded test for us is product are tasted on branding so the customer focuses strictly on the product characteristics and not on the brand name. Ah, all right. Everybody agrees with that one? No, me no. No. It's for him. So what do you guys have for that one? Brand, brand takes. Brand is customer aware. Customer are aware of the brand. Uh -huh. Consumers? Consumers are, are aware. Oh, <laughs> Baby? Baby? <laughs> uh, consumers are, are aware of the brand they are trying. This test better reflects the real world experience and the value of the brand. Okay, and the value of the brand, branded test. Okay, everybody agrees with that one now? Yes. Yeah? Yes, all right. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Very good. Let's see, number four. Um, Who wants to do, Carla Vanessa, do you wanna do number four? Blind test? Okay. Uh, products are tested on branded, so the consumer focuses strictly on the product's characteristics and not on the brand name. Yeah, very good. Everybody agrees with that one? Yes. 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 It's correct. It's like when you cannot see, right? Very nice. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, Dani, number five, mon monadic method. I'm even afraid to pronounce that word. <laughs> <laughs> Monetic method or consumer use a product site and handle it. They write it, then they use site handle another product and write it. The consumer does not write that product against each other. Hmm. Excuse me. You guys agree with that one? Hmm. No, Debbie? Mm. Consumer use the product is rare circumstance. They use and product size it 
How do it and write a letter? Esa es la misma que estaba diciendo, Dani. Ah, ok. Mm. Sí, yes. Sí. Esa, yes. Entonces. So it's correct. It's correct. All right. Ah. All right. What about sequential monadic method? Is comparison to the proof, no? to proof. So what is the definition for sequential monadic method then? Is consumer use a product in real circumstance. They use a product, cite it, and handle it, and rate it later. Okay. And then what is compared, I mean, paired comparison test? Teacher, I have the six uh, mm -hmm. sequential monadic method and consumers take the product to be used either as a sample, as an, as an example, or for an extended period as they will usually use it in their own home. That is the monadic method for you? No, that is sequentially monadic oh. method. Consumers use the product in real circumstances. That's the one you have. Anita? Uh, no, monadic method. I have consumers use a product, cite it and handle it. They rate it. Then they use, sign, handle another product and rate it. The consumer does not rate both products against each other. Ahí tengo, perdón, ahí esa monadic method. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what do you have for the number seven? The paired comparison test. Uh, I have consumers use or see and handle one product, then another. And I asked to indicate which of the two they prefer. All right, yeah, because you're comparing, right? All right, so that would be, yeah. So pair comparison test is number, like the first one, consumers use or cite and handle one product, then another and are asked to indicate which one, right? Is yes. that what you guys have, yeah? All right, very good. All right, so guys, if you notice, this type of tests are very particular with, depending, I guess, with the product that you have for the market or you're going to offer to customers. Now, um, which of this, let's talk about site and handling test, use test, branded test, and blind test. Let's talk about those four, the first four. Voy a dejar de compartir aquí, ustedes lo tienen ahí. Site, Use, branded, and blind, all right? Because those are like, are easier to understand. When, what, which method or which test do you think is more accurate when there is a new launch, a new launching of a product? What do you guys think is the best method and why? Is it side and handling, use test, branded or blind? If you in my uh -huh. in my case teacher, I think it's a blind test because you prefer uh, the product for the, the, quality. the flavor, the quality, the flavor, the characteristics, or yes, yeah, it's in no in no como estamos, como digo, no. Estamos, eh, como sugestionados yeah. por el brand. Yeah, we're not really the brand. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. okay, interesting. Mm -hmm. Let's see, Carla Vanessa, in your company, what do you think work best? Because you guys manufacture, right? All right, so which test do you think applies best? Anybody? Uh, I we use a uh, handling test, a uh, wash test, um, and also we have quality tests. All right, yes. 
I think you because you guys are a manufacturing company, you have to have many tests before sending the product, right? Yes. Yes. All right. Okay. And very good. So what happens, Carla Vanessa, when the item that you guys are producing doesn't pass the test, any of the tests that you mentioned? Uh, if the item doesn't pass the test, they are uh, discarded. Okay. All right. All right, very good. Okay, interesting, very nice. Let's see, what about um, any, any of, let's see, Debbie, you do like, you work with, um, how do you call it? With design, right? Yes. My graphic design? Yeah. Do you have, or do you use any, any test of these ones that we were using here? Or do you use another one? Like Carla Vanessa was talking to us about a washing test, for example, because they manufacture clothing. What about in your case, um, Debbie? Mm, test, yes, the printer test. About the colors. Okay, so I guess that would be like a site test because if that the color is not appealing to your eye, then you don't sell it, right? Or you don't use it, okay? All right, interesting. Very good. What about Mariano? Aha, uh -huh, Mariano, in your company, do you use any kind of testing? Uh, the test in my company is the test in the, in the, como sería campo? <laughs> the field? Yes, because uh, use a chemical product and think of, uh, the the efficiency of the product. Okay. Evaluate using the product, but is in in the camp in the in the field in the sales. Ah, all right. Okay. Hmm. So, what happens when your product doesn't pass those? Um, test let's say or standard uh, the product doesn't pass the test uh, has uh, use an a lot, another product teacher um, <laughs> All right. uh, oh, es que se, se le explico se lleva una secuencia de productos para una aplicación entonces van probando el que funciona mejor okay. All right. interesting very good Vanessa, me, what about in your in your business, in your company? Do you guys use any kind of testing? Um, I use the use test because the products are clean, clean products like grown and the test is the customer use the product and the real circumstance in their house. In the in the garden, and if it if it um, funciona, if it's functional, they approve it, and if it is, if not, they discard the option and search for another option that that um that is better. Okay, all right, I hear you. Very good, Oscar. What about in in the company that you? work for do you guys do any kind of testing no teacher in my case and my company is sell a service okay don't sell product mm -hmm. all right okay now how do you it's a service so how do you get to the people how do you get to the customers um oscar uh, but like the customer, the service is effective and on time. Prácticamente asumiendo esta situación sería el branded test. Okay. Está seguro de lo que quiere. Okay. Yeah. All right. Because they know the brand already. Yeah. All right. Interesting. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Give me a second here. 
All right, so what I want you to do right now, guys, and this is, we're gonna work on this pretty much, hold on. Yeah. Pretty much of what we have. Uh, remember that we're talking about, we're gonna be using units two for quite a while. Have you, just remind me, have you created a product or did I do that with the other group? Have you thought about the product? No. Yes? No? No, no just companies. Not, just just companies, companies, right, but no product. Right, no product? No, no, no product, no right, product, okay. yes. No. What are going to do it right now, guys? Just let me see something here. Uh, sala one, I have three people. Sala two, three. In sala three, I have four. Sala four, I have two. Sala five, I have three. And in sala six, I also have two. So I'm going to move someone from sala three to sala four. All right. So hold on. I'm just going to move him. All right, guys. This, let's say, uh, today is Friday already. Let's see, Monday and probably Tuesday, we're gonna be working in the same groups. So for example, in group number one, Mar Mariano, you're always in group one. Mariano, Rafa, and Bismar, you're working together for these activities, all right? Nada vez que yo les diga, la actividad del producto es el mismo grupo. Eh, Carla, oh, Carla Michelle is not there, porque Carlita, bueno, Carla, usted acompaña ahí, Carlita Michelle, si usted puede. Vanessa, Noemí, and Walter, okay. and Walter Omar, you, you're working together. Sala 3, Ana, Jorge, and Leti are working together. Sala 4, Trini, Domingo, and Oscar. Sala 5, Daniel, Debbie, and Carla Vanessa. And Salah six, Claudia and Vicky Dinora. All right, so well, I'm gonna take the picture porque esos son los grupos, eso no lo voy a, 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 a cambiar, no para esta actividad. Para las otras que hacemos durante la clase, yes, I'm gonna change it. All right, so let me just take the picture here because otherwise I will forget who is with whom. All right, so what are you gonna do? Se van a ir a sus grupos and I want you to come up with a product a product that you guys are going to create. No quiero un producto que ya, o sea, que si el producto existe está bien, but the ideal of this is that you create your own product, okay? So it can be whatever you want, producto, no servicio, all right? I want you to come up with a, a product that people will use and think about what is going to be the product how are going to people use this product, all right? And I'm going to be telling you more about this. But right now, what I want you to do, the first thing I want you to do, you're going to go to your groups right now, and you're going to decide in one product. Entonces, todos dando ideas. Okay, mal, I'm, let me see. I'm thinking about a soap. Oh, no, but I'm thinking about um, a new shampoo or I'm thinking about new glasses all right que tengan no sé something amazing all right so what I want you to do right now as the group decidan en un producto all right so what I want you to do is eh, si tienen acceso a, a compu y a internet entonces en una eh, tratemos de hacerlo en una powerpoint desde ya y vamos a poner the name of the product póngale otro nombre no le va a poner uh, Big Mac all right, because it existed. All right, so write a name of it, the name and a picture. All right, but first decide on the product. Háganlo en PowerPoint porque lo vamos a ir trabajando en todo lo que queda del modo. Okay, so let's go right now. First, think of the product. Una vez decidido el producto, póngale un nombre y póngale un dibujito. All right, let's go.
<clears throat> teacher, I'm here and I want to uh, practice with, an, with an, a group. Abner, lo voy a mandar a la sala 2 porque Carla Michelle, eh, ella le cuesta porque debería de estar en básico 2, no en intermedio 2. Okay, perfect. You can help uh, Vanessa Noemi and Walter Omar. Perfect, thank you. Y ese va a ser su grupo para este producto, eh, esta actividad de producto, ¿ok, Abner? Yes, just okay. yeah. aquí. Perfect, thank you.
Lots. Hi. Hi, teacher. Ahorita. Teacher, nosotros quería que nos diera una, eh, nos explicara bien, 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 bien cómo era lo que íbamos a realizar. Nosotros lo estamos haciendo, ¿verdad? Pero no estamos completamente seguros. Sí. Um, la idea es que usted, entre las dos, porque solo los dos están, ¿verdad? Aquí. Sí. Sí, teacher. Entre las dos, eh, escojan un producto. Ese producto puede ser inventado o mejorado, ¿verdad? De repente... Ahorita estoy, estoy viendo la cámara web. Entonces, puede ser una cámara web, que, pero que haga otras cosas que las de ahorita no hacen, digamos. All right. Entonces, la idea es que ustedes van a crear un producto. Puede ser whatever. Bueno, nosotros, ajá, nosotros ya, ya creamos, por ejemplo, el producto es un jabón líquido. Okay. Y luego de eso... Hay que ponerle nombre. Ya le pusimos nombre. Ya le pusimos. Y luego la imagen, hasta ahorita solo es. Um, ah, okay. después, después vamos a ir, a, eh, vamos a ir lo haciendo ya paso a paso en el transcurso del el curso. Del pero curso. ni Claudia ni yo tenemos compu, entonces. Sí, ahorita, pero lo podemos, bueno, lo puedo hacer yo después y veo cómo lo... Sí, si sí, no... Eh, en todo caso podrían, o sea, ir haciendo sí, imágenes eh, que no es que vayan a hacer muchas, ¿verdad? Pero podría ser, o sea, no necesariamente. Si no tienen, digamos, una compu ahí a la mano o algo, o le va a generar más trabajo, Claudita, puede ser nada más eh, en papel, ¿verdad? Irlo haciendo así como en paper. Sí, es que o sea que ahorita no estoy en la computadora, entonces, pero ya tenemos, ya avanzamos, ya pusimos nombre, pero este, lo que le quiero decir es que después se lo podemos presentar, digamos, el lunes. Sí, sí, de ya hecho. Ya el dibujito, no, porque no lo tengo. Y de hecho, ahorita ya no nos va a alcanzar el tiempo para verlo ah, todo, ¿verdad? Entonces, de hecho, vamos ah, okay. a ver ahora sin eso, eh, y ya ah, vamos a ver los productos de todo, de todos y todas. Ah, va, está bien, right. sí. Excelente, Thank you. very good. Y ese jabón líquido es hecho en la palma, Vicky. No, teacher, pero podemos inventar y hacer uno. Sí, <risa> Productos naturales. Yeah, ya ve, from la palma, because they are nice. <risa> yes. Ok, ya casi salimos, de todas maneras. Ya voy a ir sacándolo de los grupos, ok. Ok.
All right, guys, it's um, time to go. I'm just going to take the last attendance. Guarden lo que hicieron, all right? And then on Monday, we can start seeing. Eso va a ser como un proceso. Por eso necesito que lo guarden y siempre van a trabajar en it. Cuando hablemos de producto, vamos a trabajar con este mismo grupo para que no estén haciendo un producto cada vez. All right, so that's the whole idea. All right, let's see. Um, I'm going to take the last attendance para que se puedan ir a descansar ya. Uh, Abner Eli Fuentes Flores. Adela Trinidad González Consuelo. Present. Claudia Guadalupe Arias de Gómez. Present. Daniel Antonio Luna. Present teacher. Domingo Alexander González. Present teacher. Ever de Jesús Candrae Montano. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present teacher. José Roberto Martínez Bernabé. Carla Benacir Lara González. Carla Michelle Brizuela Portillo. Present teacher. Teresa Vázquez de Ayala. Present. Kevin Esteban Mengíbar de Merino. Leticia Guadalupe García de Miranda. Present teacher. Mariano José Paca Santa María. Present teacher. Oscar Arnulfo Villatoro Herrera. Present. Rafael Ernesto Hernández Sandoval. Present teacher. Salvador Augusto Sorto Rivas. Vanessa Noemi Reyes Lemos. Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. Present. Present. Ana María Palacios Araujo. Vicky. Present teacher. Thank you. Vicky Dinora Gutiérrez de Durán. Present teacher. Ismar Ulises Martínez Ortiz. Present. And David Jasmine Giron Ramirez. All right, guys, los dejo descansar. I'll see you Monday. All right. Bye, guys. Have a nice weekend. Thank you. Good night. Bye, Good night. teacher. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night, everyone.